Hey there, I hope you all are doing well. Um, here is your very late welcome to the course video. I apologize for that. I got my voice back yesterday, which is great. Makes teaching a whole lot easier. Um, so welcome to the course. I know most of you are very well acquainted with it now. Um, most everyone has completed orientation activities. I know a couple of you are still working through those and that's fine. You do have until 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, January 16th. Make sure that that, entered, that um, orientation quiz is the first work submitted uh, and then get on with the other activities for this week. Um, you did have a little bit of a heavier uh, reading load this go round since you had a few extra days. So I ask you to read Children of Invention Revisited, which I recognize is long. I recognize it's a little bit boring. Uh, I can assure you it will be the most boring thing you read in this course. It's all better after that. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way and take that uh, piece of writing as an opportunity for you to get familiar with some of the terminology that we'll be using to talk about technology in the course. Um, and one of the things that we'll be highlighting is that when you talk about technology, you need to be very specific about what kind of technology you're talking about. We have a tendency to refer to digital communications technology, so computers, laptops, cell phones, social media. When we say technology, a lot of times that's what we mean. It's important to recognize that technology encompasses everything that we have created, harnessed, what have you, in order to make our lives better, easier, complete work, etc. So so um, this, this is technology, this pen right here, um, the tape on my desk, technology, my smartphone, technology, the webcam I'm using to talk to you, technology, the walls of my office, technology. Um, so when we talk about technology, um, and you'll see me uh, ask you to be more precise sometimes on the discussion board and in your writings, it's important to uh, determine what that technology is that we're talking about. So in Children of Invention Revisited, uh, you'll see... Uh, terms, of course, they explain technology. You'll see terms used like artifact, which is any tangible thing uh, that is a result of technology. You'll also read about invisible technologies like our financial system and our timekeeping system. While the technologies themselves are invisible, we have a lot of artifacts that give us uh, a visual example. You know, so the money we use, the balance sheets that are used for accounting, the clocks that we have on the walls and on our phones. Um, those are artifacts that uh, stand for those invisible technologies. You'll also see the term polypotent. Uh, that means that a technology has many uses. And you'll also see focal function. That is the, um, the thing that a technology is typically used for. It may not necessarily be its original intended function. Um, and technologies uh, can do a lot of different things that maybe they're not intended uh, initially to do. So you'll be reading about unintended effects and revenge effects, which is when a technology has an effect that's exactly the opposite of what it was intended to do. So I also ask you to read uh, James Burke's Something for Nothing. Uh, Burke was the host of a show called Connections that looked at uh, different connections among technologies. And Something for Nothing does a good job highlighting how uh, technological discovery and innovation are, it's not a linear process. We would like for it to be a linear process in many cases, but it's not. A lot of times the technologies that are created and the discoveries that are made are the result of accidents or somebody trying to do something else. Uh, so those eureka moments are, are a lot of times very different. And I ask you to read in the introduction and chapter one of the second machine age. Uh, kind of gives you a little uh, look into the text, uh, kind of the angle it's going to be taking. Students typically really like this book. Um, I love it. I find it very engaging um, and in most cases simple to understand. Um, so navigating this week, um, all that you have uh, are the orientation activities, academic honesty quiz, orientation quiz, discussion board, uh, and the checkpoint. And of course doing the reading uh, and I had those videos uh, of varying degrees of interest to sort of show you how our views of technology have changed somewhat over the years. So um, looking forward to week two. Um, 
I do ask you to read Chapter 2 in Second Machine Age and Cowan's Industrial Society and Technological Systems. And I added uh, the Atlantic's 50 Greatest Breakthroughs Since the Wheel. I added that uh, because of your technology timeline essay assignment. I thought that this might give you some good ideas about how to uh, go about choosing and analyzing your technologies. And I'll talk about that essay in the next video. Uh, so I'll typically post videos weekly for you all. There will be some kind of a lull weeks where you may not need to hear from me. Um, and I'm going to plan to make Thursdays, uh, Thursday afternoons, my video posting time. So it'll be late afternoon, early evening. And that gives me a chance to grade your checkpoints, uh, see what's going on in the course, and if you have any particular concerns. That said, um, checkpoints are always a great place to let me know if there's something you would like covered more in depth in a video. Uh, you can also, of course, send me an email if there's something you don't understand and I can address it in the email and I can also bring it up for the rest of the class because if you have a question, somebody else probably does too. I will also mention that we have Blackboard Collaborate uh, in this course. I haven't, oh it, it is live in the course, I just checked. Um, Blackboard Collaborate lets us have one-on-one -on -one meetings and it also can be a place for us to have some sessions where I, I'm recording but some of you can come online with me and ask questions and participate. If that's something you're interested in, I'll be glad to do some of those sessions. Uh, timing is always hard to figure out with those because you know you're in an online class probably because you can't be on campus at a particular time. Um, so I do sometimes offer those at different times throughout the semester and they're recorded uh, and archived here on the site so that you can access them. So if that's something you would be interested in, certainly let me know. Um, it's nice to have the live question and answer uh, and have people there to bring up topics and have some discussion, but it's not always possible and I understand that. I hope the course is off to a great start for you. Um, I am excited about uh, getting to know you all and seeing your perspectives on technology and society. I've really enjoyed uh, the discussion boards that I've gotten to read so far. I've got some to get back in there and reply to. Um, I've really been enjoying that. Y'all asked me some great questions. You made me think. It's nice. Um, and I um, hope that that's a good semester for all of us. So take care, stay warm, and I will be checking in with you uh, hopefully in just a couple days if my voice holds up and it seems like it will. Take care.